Greetings to everyone. This is Rally G and welcome back to our channel, the Billing Subulation Methods Series. I would like to thank all our subscribers, all our accredited Billing Subulation Method teachers in the Philippines, and to all couples who are here and abroad for watching the Billing Subulation Methods Series. My deepest gratitude to all of you. Today, we are in episode number 12. And in episode number 12, we will be discussing the first phase of the cycle, which is the menstrual bleeding. Now, let us start with episode number 12, which is all about menstruation, which is based on the studies conducted by Drs. John and Evelyn Billings. Episode number 12 will also answer the question below. How would you know if your bleeding is a menstrual bleeding? According to Drs. John and Evelyn Billings, menstruation will only commence if there is a successful ovulation. If there will be no pregnancy, the lining of the endometrium will shed. The woman will both feel and see the bleed as it arrives at the vulva. Menstruation commences the beginning of the cycle. That is why in the slide rule, it is the first part in the phases of the cycle. But we need to answer this question. The question would be, how would you know if your bleeding is a menstrual bleeding? So we need to follow the guidelines that we will be discussing so that we will be able to be sure that the bleeding is really a menstruation. Okay, let's proceed to the first one. According to Drs. John and Evelyn Billings, menstruation is always preceded by a peak or ovulation. If there will be no peak, there will be no ovulation, and there will be no menstruation. But the question now would be, paano malalaman ng isang babae na siya ay nag-ovulate? No? How would you know if there is an ovulation? Please follow these guidelines too. Ovulation can only happen if the two ovaries are active. If the ovaries are active, there is a follicular development. The egg is developing towards maturity. When egg is developing towards maturity, the ovaries now would be releasing estrogen. And estrogen now will go to the cervix and to tell the cervix to remove the plug and to start producing mucus. The moment mucus is produced, you need to observe and to check. Mucus must develop. It will start with a sticky sensation. It will become wet and it will end up in a slippery sensation. If the mucus will end in slippery, it means there is a peak day and it means there is an ovulation. This is the statement of Drs. John and Evelyn Billings. Mucus progressively changing. From a sticky sensation, it will become wet and it will become slippery. Drs. John and Evelyn Billings call this as the changing pattern of fertility. Mucus must end in slippery in order for the peak day to be achieved and there will be an ovulation. The end of mucus must be slippery mucus. Slippery mucus indicates the egg is already mature and ready for ovulation. The last day of slippery sensation is the peak day. So if your mucus will not end in slippery, it means no peak, no ovulation. Menstruation will not commence. But if your mucus will develop, into a what? Into a slippery sensation. It ends with a slippery. You have a peak day. Then absolutely there will be an ovulation. And if there will be no pregnancy, menstruation now will commence. This is the first guidelines in order to what? To verify if the bleeding is a menstrual bleeding. The second one would be this one. After the peak day, after the last day 
of sleeping sensation, you count 11 to 16 days because menstrual bleeding commences 11 to 16 days after the peak day. And then the last one, the last guidelines would be this one. Menstruation is caused by the dropping of both estrogen and progesterone if pregnancy is not occurred. So the moment these two hormones gradually drop after the peak day with 11 to 16 days of luteal phase, then menstruation now will commence. So take note of these three points because these three points will give you what a verification if your bleeding is a menstrual bleeding. So any of the following, but the most important would be the bullet point number one. Ovulation must be available in order for menstruation to commence. And you know how to identify if ovulation will take place Mucus mass progressively changing from a sticky into a wet, ending with a slippery sensation. With this, menstruation now will commence 11 to 16 days after the peak day. So this is menstruation according to the studies conducted by doctors John and Evelyn Billings together with Professor James Brown. Now, for those who would like to chart, take note that the shaded circle is the symbol for bleeding, or you may use a color red. The dots means spotting. If the spotting has a sensation of dry, that is no longer a menstrual bleeding. That is the beginning of the next phase of the cycle which is BIP, and I will discuss that in episode number 13. So again, menstruation, what is the symbol? Shaded circle or color red. And then if you have spotting, use the dots present in the screen right now. Now for those couples who would like to postpone pregnancy, take note of the early day rule number one. EDR rule one says, Avoid intercourse on the days of bleeding or during menstruation. Why? Ovulation might occur quite early in the cycle and menstrual bleeding could obscure mucus. Again, for those who would like to postpone pregnancy, EDR1 is very important. Avoid intercourse during the days of bleeding or menstruation because ovulation might take place early. So this is menstruation, the shedding of the lining of endometrium after ovulation if there will be no pregnancy. Again, it is a signal that a new cycle will commence. And then if you will check the vulva, the sensation will be wet. And if you will have the chart, take note, you need to begin with a new chart because menstruation is the beginning of a new cycle. So with this, we end our episode on menstrual bleeding, episode number 12. To those who are watching right now, please try to like and subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell. And to all our subscribers, thank you very much for watching all our episodes and to all couples who are watching here in the Philippines and abroad. Again, thank you and see you in episode number 13. Goodbye to all of you.